Some people get an amazing start to their careers, and then they burn it up bad. Today I'm going to cover 5 Roblox YouTubers who mess up their careers badly. Welcome back to Blocks Flow, let's get into the video. Good riddance. I think everyone can agree that clickbait channels are the absolute worst. Within the Roblox community, there are plenty of such YouTubers who upload misleading titles, often falsely promising their viewers free Robux. Considering this is against the site's terms of service, it doesn't surprise us when YouTube takes action and permanently deletes these accounts. This is exactly what happened with the infamous channel Supremacy, which to be honest came as pretty good news for the rest of the community. However, a lot of people don't know that clickbait titles weren't the only reason behind this channel's deletion. He's also been quite notorious for sending false copyright claims to other YouTubers, which is quite literally illegal. At the end of the day, his termination was anticipated by many, and we can only hope that YouTube takes such action against more accounts like these in order to clear out all the scummy, contemptible personalities from the Roblox community. YouTube Feuds Lucy Gaming Roblox is a relatively small Roblox YouTuber who's found herself in some big feuds in the platform. Unlike the other channels on this list, she hasn't done anything illegal or unlawful. Rather, she's been under fire for being an all-around toxic personality, who constantly creates needless trouble for other YouTubers. Earlier this year, she uploaded a video titled I Got Banned on Bloxburg, which Kaneko Kitten happened to make a reaction video to. Though Kaneko's video was all in good fun, she turned it into quite a scene by actually threatening to sue him for being rude. Obviously, this soured her reputation amongst her fans, and resulted in a lot of backlash. She was also involved in some hot water with YouTuber Lofi, after she suspected of striking his channel with a false copyright claim. Her controversial behavior has resulted in her being banned at the Roblox Awards Show game, where she called the winner an unkind word, which we'd rather not say. It's safe to say that she's garnered a fair bit of hatred, the likes of which have permanently damaged her channel's reputation. Scamming your own fans? It's one thing to scam other people on Roblox, but to scam your own fans, that's a new low. YouTuber Linnaic has had his career muddled with controversies after consistently stealing content from other YouTubers, mostly being Kaneko Kitten and Sharkblox. However, he still managed to rack up a huge fanbase while doing so, but the Russian Robloxian went a little too far when he decided to double-cross a subscriber of his during a trade. You see, it's a common practice for Lin to ask his fans for an item to borrow so that he could flex it on his channel and show it off as his own. It's a questionable act, but it's what his channel is centered around. The real controversy came when he borrowed rare items from one particular fan and decided not to return it. This was bound to have repercussions as he ended up getting banned from Roblox and losing a lot of subscribers. Lesson learned, we hope. Familiar to some of you guys is back in earlier 2020, Lennox has actually been in a lot of drama with other Roblox English YouTubers. Other Roblox commentary YouTubers like Chloe Games, Sharkblox, Kanekokin. Criminal purchases. YouTuber I'm Sandra is a prime example of a YouTuber who botched their career beyond repair. She had always been a massively controversial figure, as audiences have long been accusing her of being involved in the illegitimate buying and selling of Roblox items using actual currency, something which clearly contradicts Roblox's terms and conditions. Roblox eventually caught on to her behavior and ended up dishing out a permanent ban to her account. This also dealt a massive blow to her YouTube channel, and she no longer had any content to upload. She began rapidly losing subscribers. She tried to redeem herself by constantly denying any wrongdoing and making new Roblox accounts. However, these new accounts have also been subsequently banned, as no one's really believing anything she says. Though her latest profile seems to have survived a few days, we think it's only a matter of time before it also finds itself deleted. Not so child friendly. Perhaps the most recent Roblox channel which found itself in hot water is Dazzly. This particular YouTuber was caught for doing something no one likes, encouraging and propagating inappropriate content on Roblox. His main uploads were focused upon proper games on the app, and we're quite surprised that no one had called him out for this behavior before. On an entertaining, fun, kid-friendly game such as Roblox, it's incredibly saddening to see some people go out there just to ruin the entire experience for everyone. Still, better late than never, as we're glad he's finally been exposed for his behavior. He's consequently had his Roblox account completely banned, so we don't think we're going to see him upload the same videos anytime soon. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.